Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today I am going to be unboxing a really cool lifestyle subscription box and this is Bombay and Cedar. For those of you who don't know, Bombay and Cedar is a monthly lifestyle subscription box that also sends you like wellness, aromatherapy, cruelty free and vegan products. They do have two different boxes. They have a beauty box, which I am not subscribed to, but then this is their lifestyle box. And with their lifestyle box, they do have two sizes. Let me make sure I get this right. They have a premium, which is eight to 10 products and a value of at least $120. And they have a mini, which is five to seven products and a value of at least $70. They always include two essential oils in their box, which is why I really like them. The premium price is $49.95 a month plus $6.95 shipping. And the mini is $29.95 a month plus $5.95 shipping. And this is the premium box that I have. And they do have options to where you can customize some items, which is really cool as well. But if you're interested in this box, I do have a referral code that will get you $7 off your first box. And if you're into subscription boxes, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. But we're going to go ahead and get into it. So this big giant box is for the month of June. So they do ship towards the end of the month. So you usually get your box the following month, which is why I'm unboxing June's in July. But this time it is in like a really huge box, which is really cool. So I'm going to go ahead and open it. So when you open it, this time there's not like a smaller box within like this really large box. All of the products are just right here. And then there's a ton of like this white stuff with presents throughout. So we're going to go ahead and get started. The first thing in the box is their little booklet that goes over everything that is in the box. And I will tell you what you would get in the mini versus the premium and what items were um, customizable. So the theme for June is Protect and it does come with this little booklet which I think the most important page is what's in the box, but then it does also have some featured brands, some of the products that are in here, a laundry booster, and then like something about Himalayan salt because there is something in the box, but we will get to that. So I'm going to leave it open to this page just so I know the items and the prices. So the first thing I'm going to start with is the essential oils, if I can find them. Okay, here they are. So every month, Bombay and Cedar does come with essential oils, so and this is in both the premium and the mini box. So you do get a little pouch each month. This is what my pouch looks like. It's really cute. And then you get two essential oils. So the first one is the Clarifying Tea Tree Essential Oil, and I should say that these are from Bombay and Cedar directly. So this is commonly known for its powerful anti-inflammatory and disinfectant com compounds. Tea tree essential oil is beneficial in treating insect bites, blemishes, burns, bruises, dandruff, and plenty more. And this is worth $16. It is 100% pure essential oils. And of course, this is the type where you do have to mix it in with something if you're going to apply it to your skin. Otherwise, these just go in the diffuser. And I will say that if you have pets, be mindful because some essential oils can be toxic to them. So you do want to make sure that you are very careful. But then the second oil that came this month is a sweet orange. So this is by Bombay and Cedar as well. This is worth $14. So let's see what this one is for. It's benefit in clearing, this beneficial in clearing the lymphatic system, improving immune function and increasing blood flow. Also has significant antibacterial capacity, which makes it appropriate for natural disinfectants, which is definitely perfect given everything that's going on in the world right now. But I always love getting the essential oils. They do usually come with little cards. I have a ton behind me. Oh, I dropped a few. So usually it comes with cards like this that goes over like the benefits, the precautions and what it blends well with. I'm not sure if it's at the bottom of the box. There's a ton of this stuff to go through. So if I see it throughout, I will show it to you. So this was first in both boxes. So the next item is a little snack and they usually do come with one snack in each box. So this is in both boxes. This is the original PB Bites by Pasokin, a delicious source of plant-based protein for busy families. These plant-favored peanut butter snacks are made with simple, real ingredients, the perfect pick-me-up for peanut butter lovers. And this is worth $1.10. So you do get two of them and they do come individually wrapped. And here's what they look like. Something like this came in a box a few months ago. It was peanut butter bites, but it wasn't original. It had a little bit of a different flavor to it. Can't remember what it was off the top of my head but I really enjoyed them. These are really, really good, which is cool. And they are like non-GMO, organic, vegan, gluten-free, all natural, plant-based, everything like that. But these are really, really good. So next is a hand defense by Spongel. Okay, this is definitely different. 
So here's what the packaging looks like. It says, designed for frequent hand washing, this soap is enriched with glycerin to moisturize and hydrate. Shea butter and cocoa butter to smooth and soften, and oatmeal to soothe and protect. The specially engineered sponge with patented technology thoroughly cleanses critical areas often overlooked during normal hand washing, such as the cuticle and around the nail edges. This is worth $14, and I don't know if they had different scents, but I have the Refresh, which has thyme and tea, tea tree oil in it. it. says it's more effective at removing germs and dirt than soap alone, and this is good for 40 plus hand washes. So this is really cool. I've gotten like the sponge gel body buffers and the petty buffers, but I guess now they make ones that are like hand soap, which is kind of really cool. It smells nice. It definitely has like a natural scent to it, but I do like this a lot, like a natural fresh scent. Hmm. This is really cool. Scrub cleanse hydrate. Very interesting. Hmm. I've never seen this before, so I'm actually kind of intrigued by this. And from the box, or from this little packet, it does look like they had multiple scents that you could get, but it doesn't say that in the little information. So the next item is in both boxes as well, and this was a choice item where you could customize it. And you got something from Arom, I hope I'm pronouncing that right, but you could have chosen between a Himalayan salt lamp or a salt pluggable lamp. And I decided to go with the salt lamp because I did get a pluggable salt lamp in their boxes, I want to say well over a year ago. But I decided to go with this and I'm honestly shocked at the size of this. I did not think it was going to be this big. So here's what it looks like. It says these Himalayan salt lamps emit energizing negative ions while purifying the air, improving mood and providing a natural feeling light source. This was worth anywhere from 15 to $30 depending on what item you chose. And like, I am shocked at the size of this. The reason I went with this one, although I really did like the pluggable one, but I went on the Aerom website and they had the pluggable ones for $5.99 on sale. So, I mean, obviously I'm gonna go with this one. This is really pretty. I figured it would, as I'm dropping it, would be great for like home decor. And I'm so excited about this. Let me see if I can get it out of the box. So it does come with a user guide, which is always important. And then here is what it looks like. It's very nice, definitely large, has the little light bulb in it. And it has the plug and I'm assuming if I could get it out at the bottom is all of the little Himalayan salt crystals let's see I'm sure there's better ways to do this trust me just hope it all doesn't fall out and then without making a huge mess here are all of your Himalayan salt crystals that go inside the lamp so there are definitely plenty here I'm not going to set this up yet, so I'm just going to try and package this back as nicely as I can. Well, it was great while it lasted, I think. I just like messed up the whole box, so we'll just let that go. And before I continue, I will say at the bottom of the box, it did have the little cards for the tea tree and the sweet orange essential oils. So this is great. I do keep these. I don't know why, but I do look back at them from time to time. Okay, so the next item has multiple choices, but it was given out randomly based off of whatever Bombay and Cedar wanted to send you. So it was a couple different books. So you could have either gotten a vegan cookbook in the premium box, a vegan junk food box, book, not box, or an everything grows with love book. And here's kind of what the books look like. And they had different price ragings from $27.95, $18.99, and $9.95. And then if you got the mini box, it seems like the only book you could have gotten was the Everything Grows With Love, which was worth $9.95. So the book that I randomly got in my box was Vegan Junk Food. And it says, with over 200 delicious and animal-friendly twists on your favorite junk foods from loaded nachos to cheesy kale chips. And this was worth $18.99. So I actually like getting cookbooks. I think they're really cool, but there's like so much in here. They have like different pies, Boston cream pie, white chocolate raspberry cheesecake. They have like vegetables, sausage puffs, pizza, spring rolls, corn dogs with tangy mustard dipping sauce, cauliflower. There's just so many different things in here. There's even like a recipe for like pecan pie muffins. So there's like a huge variety in here. This is actually really cool and I will definitely get some use out of this book. So I like that they said that. That's so unique. All right. Anyway, so the next three items are in the premium box only. So the first item is a perfume from Library of Flowers. 
And at first it was supposed to be a hand cream. I'm not exactly sure what happened. I think it was something with production and then they ended up going with a perfume. So I decided to go with the scent Field and Flowers. But this is a perfume, these unique blends of Artful Essence from Margot. Elena's small batch perfumery are elegantly packed in a beautifully decorated glass box housed with inside a storybook wooden box. And this is worth $42. I will say that the packaging is super cute on this. And then you open it and it comes in this nice box right here that does kind of look like a book that you're opening. It's very, very pretty packaging. And then here is what the bottle looks like, which is very neat. Hmm. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and give this a tester. Let's see, I'm not huge on perfume. Let's see, okay, so you just pull it and then it has like a nice little spray. Let's see. Just gonna spray it twice because I'm not really into perfumes at all. It smells nice, it does. But it's pretty intense, like two sprays is way too much. This is definitely like a flowery scented one. This will probably linger on my skin for a while. This is really cool. I like the packaging. I doubt I'm going to use the perfume just because I'm very, very sensitive to scents. So I can either give this to somebody or use it as like a display because it is really nice packaging. But yeah, like I'm gonna have to wipe my arm off after this. Not that it smells bad, it's just it's too intense for me. I, I don't know why I'm like that. I used to be okay, but then like the last couple of years, I'm just not okay. But the different notes, the top is apricot, the middle is honeyed blossom, and the bottom is wildflowers. So it does smell nice, and this is really nice packaging. I would have liked if they had an item where like you could choose a perfume, or you could choose like a hand cream, or a lotion, or a body wash. Just something different, just because perfume is not for everybody. But I'm probably in the minority there, so anyway, enough of that rant. So the next item is perfect during this pandemic. It's a touch-free door opener worth $12. So it says use these germ-free keys to open a door, flush a toilet, hit the elevator button, turn on a light switch, and much more. I will say I have never seen something like this. It's actually pretty interesting. I mean, I've, I've been wearing a mask, but beyond that, and washing my hands, of course, but like beyond that, I haven't been super paranoid. I'm, you know, I'm just going to leave it there because I know everyone's so different with this virus. But this is actually pretty interesting. I might actually give it a try to see how well it works. And if it doesn't work out for me, I know someone who will definitely appreciate this. But okay, the next item is, looks like it was like a this or that and they randomly chose for you. So it was a product from Sheralia. It's a card case by Sheralia or a mini emergency kit by Pinch Provisions card case. So I ended up getting the card case by Sheralia. So here's what it looks like. It's very pretty like rose gold sparkly looks really nice. It does have like a nice pull chain. I probably should just take it out of the packaging. Like why not? Okay. Here's what it looks like. It does have like a zippered part right here. You can probably put some coins in or some money and then you can put two credit cards, license, whatever you want. So that is what it looks like. And then the other item was this little emergency kit, which looks like this. So it looks like the mini emergency kit had 17 beauty personal care and style essentials with a petite pouch. And then this has a zip top pocket and two slip pocket for whatever you want it for. And the retail value was anywhere from 18 to $22. I'm not sure what exactly this one was worth. It just has for both of them. So that brings me to the end of this video. The mini box had a value of $70 and five cents and the premium box had a value of $151 and nine cents to $179 and five cents. It depends on what items Bombay and Cedar sent you randomly. But that was honestly a really good box. I'm actually really happy with it. I like how they kind of customize it too to like go with the pandemic that's going on right now. I know a couple months ago they sent a face mask, which I still use that face mask. I wore it the other day when I went to try on bridal dresses, which if you saw my Ipsy video, I did mention that I was going for the first time. And spoiler alert, I did find a dress on the first try. Of course, I can't post it, but one day I will once the wedding date is over, of course. But on, anyway, off topic. I really, really enjoyed this box. I love the Himalayan salt lamp. If you're into like lifestyle and essential oil products like this, vegan, cruelty free, definitely check out this box. I enjoy it a lot and I think it is definitely worth the price. If you subscribe to this box, go ahead and comment down below and let me know what items you got that were customizable. And if you don't subscribe to this box, comment down below and let me know your thoughts on it. But thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video.